currently on the screen is the first lot of no floaters on Invest 96P which is starting to form to the north east of Port, Port Douglas up there on the uh, or in the Cape York region and for the last day of January for the year 2018 welcome to another update from the Force 13's Australia Oceana channel Severe weather warning for damaging winds, heavy rainfall, abnormally high tides remains in place for parts of the peninsula, the Gulf Country forecast districts. An active monsoon trough sits over northern Queensland, causing strong westerly winds across the northeast Gulf of Carpentaria and including the Torres Strait coastal waters area. Heavy rain may lead to flash flooding, expected to continue about the northern peninsula north of Koanyama to Cape Melville. Six hourly totals in excess of 100 millimetres remains possible. Localised 24 hour totals in excess of 200 millimetres. Locations which may be affected include Reaper, Koayama, Arakan, Ode, Mapoon, Bamaka, Thursday Island and Cohen, Leichhardt River. Damaging winds with peak gusts of around 90 km an hour are possible in squally showers, thunderstorms across the Northern Peninsula Locations which may be affected include Reaper, Koayama, Arakan, Old Mapoon, Bamaka, Thursday Island, Cohen, Leichhardt River. Updated marine wind warning, a strong wind warning is in place for the northeast Gulf, Torres Strait, Peninsula Coast, Morton Bay and down on the Gold Coast waters. And a similar one for Thursday, February the 1st. Now this is a look at the Bureau's Weeper ra uh, radar uh, captured earlier this morning. And the region is seeing some increasing but heavy rainfall totals. Uh, Repo, I think, is up over 400 millimetres, but that will clar be clarified in uh, our next update. This is the uh, Doppler wind, the uh, thing at Sakin's radar. We will be uh, increasing the availability of our videos considering the Northern Territory WA uh, system. Uh, we've got 95p this, this south of uh, Tahiti. We now have X Tropical Cyclone CO8 Fehi and continues its southerly track towards New Zealand. Bureau Meteorology has indicated that the system will intensify. This is a live stream shot of the Gladstone Port Authority at Tandem Sands. The flood watch remains in place for Cape York, Koayama to Cape Millville and that will be updated around 12.30 local time. Uh, 
and on the screen it's a list of the catchments likely to be affected. And authorities up there in the Northern Territory are currently searching for an elderly man that's gone missing in flood water. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has finalised its coverage of Fee High. Here's a look at the 24 hour shear tendency and from looking at this it looks like the region is changing. Tropical systems love the area in blue. Here's a look at the upper level divergence. A 50 minute bar of vorticity, uh, 90S over there in the, in the top end of uh, WA. The one forming to the east of Cape York. Here's the wind shear. The BUA should update their three day tropical cyclone info around 14.30. Local time here in Queensland. Now, this is the life of Fee He. And we have the tropical cyclone over there in the uh, South Indian Ocean or mid. Indian Ocean, South Indian Ocean near Diego Garcia. It's now got a 60 nautical mile eye. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website Force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.